I'm going to show you how to cut bias strips uh, easily using your fabric and making a few simple folds to make it easier. Um, I started with a fat quarter so that you can see where the uh, selvage was and where the fold line would be. This is the cross grain, the way the fabric would come off of the bolt. This would be a bias line and this would be a bias line. Now, one of my problems is my ruler won't reach all the way across to cut a bias strip. Even if I had a 24 inch ruler, it wouldn't quite reach all the way across. So we can fold it, make a few folds and make it small enough that we can get all the way across our bias with the smaller ruler. Remember making paper airplanes, we're going to fold so that we match the selvage line with the side cut uh, of the cross grain. Here is straight of the grain and here is straight of the grain. And this is our bias line. Now we're going to fold it again to make it even smaller. At this point, here is straight of the grain, here is straight of the grain, and this is our bias, both of these edges. And I could start cutting now, but you see my ruler still won't reach all the way across. So all I have to do is fold it one more time to make my um, little package smaller, and I'm going to line up one of the folds with the line on my mat, and. Now all I have to do is take my ruler and shave off a little bit of the edge. I'm just lining up the ruler with a vertical line on the mat and getting rid of that so I have a straight line to cut from. Now all you have to do is start cutting across your piece of fabric whatever size strips you're needing. These are two inch strips. I might even need half inch strips for something like uh, bias strips that I might make with a bias strip maker. So you can cut all the bias strips you want and then you just stitch them together. I just got through showing you how to use a fat quarter to cut bias strips. Now I'm going to show you it's just as easy to take a big piece of fabric and get your bias strips even though you don't have a ruler that would reach all the way across. The selvage is here the fold is over here and this is where it came off the bolt. And if you were cutting bias strips for binding, you would probably, for a large quilt, you would probably need three-fourths of a yard or so. So the first thing I'm going to do is unfold my three-fourths of a yard. And now I've still got a selvage edge here and a cross grain line here. There's the fold of the fabric and here's my bias. And just like when you were a kid making paper airplanes, you're gonna fold diagonally. Now here's my straight of the grain together. Now I have a long bias. And I can't get my ruler all the way across that, so I'm just gonna fold it in half so that I match up the biases again. Now here's straight of the grain, here's straight of the grain, and this is bias and this is bias. I still can't reach all the way across with my ruler. So I'm going to fold it again and I'm just matching up this bias edge. At this point, this is bias and this is bias. Here's my straight of the grain going across and there's straight of the grain. You can see that easily with the selvage. I'm just gonna keep bringing it a little bit farther over. And now I have my piece all folded where I'm ready to start cutting bias strips. I'm just going to line up my fabric with a horizontal line on the mat and I'm going to take my ruler, we'll just tuck this under here, and I'm going to trim off the folded edge down here. This is all bias, this is all bias, and I'm going to trim off the edge so that I have a nice clean edge to work with. Now we're ready to cut whatever size bias strips you might use for uh, binding. This green would make a nice bias stem. I'm going to cut a half inch strip of it because I'm going to show you in a future video how to use a bias strip maker to make bias strips for uh, Celtic knots or for applique stems. You just keep going all the way across your fabric, cutting your strips, and you have a perfect bias strip. Then you just start putting them together 
to make the length you need for your binding or for your bias, uh, whatever you're using your bias for. Sacred Creek Quilts is Northwest Arkansas' source for fabric, quilting, and much more. Whether you're new to fabric or a veteran behind the needle, we are here to serve you.